G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. So it's a little bit different today. I have a guest. Hey. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. Yeah, she's come over for a few weeks to come and see me to visit. Um, we've just been on a nice little road trip together and done some nice little voluntary work, which I'm doing another vlog. I'll do that some other time. But we've pretty much been uh, had a little surprise as we were in South Wales and a couple of hours away, like two and a half hours away is Wiltshire, which is where I work. And a friend told me that there was a new crop circle that's just been made by whoever. So we've decided to cut our little, the last few days of our Welsh road trip has kind of changed a little bit. So I've, Fabiola's never seen a crop circle before and I don't know when she'll see another one again because she doesn't really live around that kind of area, you know, like I'm quite lucky that I work around here. So she wanted to come and see a crop circle. So we decided to come over here now. We've just done a bit of camping in this little campsite here. So we're just leaving here now. It's a beautiful day. So we're hoping the weather's gonna stay the same. It's just a half an hour drive. So. Okay, so we've just arrived and I just wanted to get my drone out just to quickly see where it is because I don't know how to get into the field or nothing. I'm not quite sure exactly where it is. I've gone to take my drone off and there's a little airport just around the corner here so it won't allow me to take my drone off so I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. She's gutted as you can see. <laughs> What we're doing now is we're just trying to get into the field so we're just walking alongside the field to see at least so we can get into it you know and if i can find someone kind enough to lend me their drone shots because i've seen drone shots online but um yeah let's see if we can get into the field so we're struggling to get in the field we've just seen a woman she's just over there and she's waving so that in indicates that it's still there but we just can't find how to get into the crop itself because <laughs> obviously you can't walk right through the crop like this you have to find the the track the tracks you know so um we're just trying to find out the right way to go what do you think fabiola ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit frustrating because we know it's there we can see this woman's having a great time in it she's running around and all sorts oh come on Okay, so we've just found the woman that we saw having a whale of a time. Hello! Yeah, so she's going to tell us exactly where we need to go right now, I'm sure. So we're going to find it. Yes, yes, yes. Well, folks, what you're looking at is a ruined crop circle. So we just bumped into that woman that was gonna tell us exactly where it was. And the farmer's just come about half an hour ago and taken the whole thing down. So this is what angry farmers do to beautiful crop circles, which is fair enough, it's their field, obviously. <sighs> Look, where there once was a beautiful pattern, there is nothing left. Well, let's walk to the middle anyway, just because it's in the centre. Come and walk in the middle, Bobby. She's not very happy. But, but, there is another crop circle that's appeared and it's not too far away from here. So we're going to check that one out. Hopefully that one's still there. Very cool pattern. Some people are saying it's a commission piece for a band. They paid for someone to do it, but let's see what Let's see what it's like. But this is the centre of the crop circle. Well, the once. There once was a crop circle. Look at that little face. She's not happy. No. No. 
After some asking around online, a kind man called Simon from Orion SM Photography sent me his footage of the circle when he visited just days before. This is what we could have seen if we'd arrived 45 minutes earlier. So, on that note, we headed to hopefully find crop circle number two. Okay, so we've arrived at Hackpen Hill, exactly where I came to see one last year. And we've just seen a guy with a drone here and he said he's had his drone up for ages trying to find it and he can't find the crop circle. But after a little bit of detective work on Google Maps, I think we found the destination. <laughs> so it's just down this little road here and we need to walk and it's down the hill there, apparently. Now, let's see if the farmer's taken it away yet. Let's hope not because this little Mexicana needs to see at least one before she leaves on Saturday. So, dedos cruzados. She's just down here, she's just down here. <laughs> this is the effort we have to go to to see the crop circles. So she's just down there. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to walk in there, unfortunately. Um, I've been told that the farmer re doesn't really want anyone in the field, and there's a farmyard there which I can hear activity happening. There's there's movement there, so I don't don't really want to go down. You know, you got to respect what the farmers want. So I'm going to get the drone out now and hopefully get some decent footage of that right there. Well folks, that was that. That was that crop circle. What did you think of that? It's quite pretty, isn't it, to be honest? But we've had a judge here. Fake. She believes it's handmade. See? Fake. See. So we're gonna find out anyway. Supposedly, like I said before, it's for a band. So let's see if we see an album cover with this crop circle on. You never know. We don't even know who the band is. It could be someone famous, who knows? Okay, so let me stop myself here for a second. A few days after filming this, it came to light that the crop circle was actually a commissioned piece for a rather famous singer-songwriter from New Zealand who goes by the name Lord. Personally, I'd never heard of her before, but many people I asked had. As you can see from this rather cheeky, pardon the pun, album cover titled Solar Power, the font of the initials match that of the ones in the crop circle. Very clever, and very clever crop circle makers. This time, this was certainly man-made, no question. But still, no one knows who the circle makers were. So again, there is mystery amongst the crops. But there we go. At least we made it to one crop circle out of the two. Sorry to disappoint on the first one, but that was out of my hands. I hope you can hear me, by the way, because my my microphone thing's just broken on my phone, so it might, it might be a bit windy if you Anyways, that's enough of that. We're gonna go and get some lunch. Right. 
and uh, feed our little bellies. Hello, little dog. Until next time, folks, take care. Peace.